Hey guys, it's Rachel Cruz. And George Camel. And this is Smart, Smart Money, Money Happy, Happy Hour. Cheers. Cheers. Joy in a glass. Delicious. Well, this is the show where two friends who happen to be money experts talk about what you're talking about. So everything from pop culture, current events, and money. And today we are talking about the number one budget buster that literally no one on the planet can avoid. You know, it's like we're we're in a rock and a Aldi. Yes. Between a, a rock that's and a an Aldi. a great analogy. <laughs> now, before we explain what we mean, let's talk about what we're sipping on, Rachel. It is a sparkling rosemary peach mocktail. It's delicious. Wow. Let me tell you, this one might be a top contender yeah. in Smart Money Happy Hour history. I would agree. It's flavorful. It's wonderful. We'll get to all of it later. The but... rating, the recipe, the cost per glass. Stick around till the end. Yeah. Okay, so George, I recently saw a Yahoo Finance article. Is that a flex? Uh, maybe I did my I'm research. Impressed. And listen, uh, according to this article, data from the U.S. inflation calculator shows that food prices have risen almost 26% since 2020. I believe that. So if something was a dollar, now it's a dollar twenty-five. So it was ten dollars, now it's twelve fifty. Yeah, well, that's fair. Quick math there, George. Quick Phew. math. That is truly wild. And as recently as August of 2022, the rate of inflation for food reached its highest peak since 1979, before we were even alive. Wow. Yeah, that was 10 years after the moon landing, if it happened. <laughs> but that is pretty wild. That is that is crazy. And here's the thing. What's hard about food is I'm like— You need it's it. It's not an option. You know, you got subscriptions and gym memberships and all these things that we can talk about— but food, it's kind of a necessity, it's George. It's not a luxury to eat. Now, there's versions no. of it that become luxuries, which we'll get to, but you can't just cut food out of the budget to save money. And in the words of the great Kelsey Ballerini, the right and the hard thing are sometimes the same. Is that a lyric? It feels like a lyric. It is. It is. Oh, Kelsey. I got to listen to because, my Because, again, the idea is that you have to pay for food, and it's gotten so expensive, people can't believe it. But you got to pay for it. But we do have some tricks to help lower that bill when the time comes. Some hacks, if you will. Yeah, we're here for you. We're your friends. But before we dive in to all the solutions, let's just talk a little bit about etiquette, George. You know, Ooh. you feel like a pet peeve kind of guy. I do wonder sometimes, like, who raised you? You know what I mean? <laughs> Not you specifically, but like people at the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, there's some there's some pet peeves that are that are real. Here's one for you: the woman that leaves the cart unattended. Oh. After she puts her kids in the car and Why the groceries. Is it a she? Because I just saw a video recently on Instagram about this and she got hammered because she's like, I don't put the card up. I don't. I have my kids in the car, I got my groceries in the car, I'm not doing it. And people like went after her. I am a cart putter upper. Are you? I don't know how you could not. I know. Like, I wouldn't sleep at night. I mean, unless I like was like fearful or something. <laughs> What would you be fearful of? Like I don't you're know, in danger? Getting robbed? Yeah, I don't know. Like if there was like a sketchy guy and I had my head on a swivel and I'm looking around protecting myself. Wow. Coat I guess con I've condition never been yellow, that. if you will, like my husband taught me to always be. Uh, yeah, and there's just something that doesn't feel right. That would be the only time, but it's never happened in my entire life. I feel like it's never happened to me. And now I'm wondering, am I the sketchy guy? Oh no. You George. know what I mean? No. No, but that's that's, that's definitely a pet peeve. That's um, fair. Yeah, how about the uh, self-checkout stress? These drive me crazy. Because, like, I love the idea of self-checkout. Like, hey, maybe I don't need to deal with a person, and I can just scan the thing myself yeah. and put my card in. I got two bags of chips, well, and until I'm, I'm going the out. store is understaffed, and there's people with 100 items in their cart, and there's one lane open and then one self-checkout open. Yes. Because the machine is broken or whatever, and, like, life is hard enough. Why are you making self-checkout difficult for me? Yeah. Do you know who has self-checkout now? Who? Costco. Oh, Yeah. That feels like even a, that's stressful. I'm like it just it just because they'll be like, hey, you have to put the item. You have like a thousand items when you go to Costco, and they're usually. they're testing the weight of everything to make sure you put oh, it. So much. And then it's like, hey, you didn't put it in there. You didn't put it in there, and then it's flashing, and I got to so wait much. for someone. Or I get the like big pack of water. Yeah, which is real heavy to like lift out of it and to try to like scan it and put it so down. Tough. And they say, no, don't worry about that. We'll scan the big stuff for you. Then I'm standing there while my little lights blinking above me, hoping someone sees me. Needing Terrible. help. Can't do it. I'm, Making I'm getting a stressed scene. now. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting stressed now. Whew, no, no more. Do you know my pet peeve is um, I am a very, like, efficient grocery shopper. So if I'm in the store. You're in and out. I mean, I am flying through that it's place. It's supermarket sweep. You're not flying Yes, around. it is. I would yes. be excellent on that show. 
So good. Or Don't shop. Don't think it exists anymore. Or but. shop till you drop. Remember that show oh, too? Oh, I love that show. I would have done both and done really well. Like, I, like Winston and I, we can't go grocery shopping together anymore. Oh. We like decided it's just not good for us because he's like walking around. Wait, is looking. Winston a meander? I'm like, oh my god, I can't does do he it. like to meander? I come with like 80 items, and I'm like, here, put these in the cart. Put these in the cart. We gotta go. We gotta go. I'm just an urgent person. So one of my pet peeves is like somebody is standing there, and they're like looking around, and you're like, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I have, to, I just have to grab this, and I just do it, y'all. And I probably feel like frantic and crazy, yeah. but which brings us to one of my favorite not favorite games, freeze tag at the freezer. Yeah. You ever play that? Someone's like standing there. That's what I'm talking. they're looking. I'm like, I got to, hey, I got to get to this That's door. That's what I'm saying. You got to be like, excuse me. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. It's just awkward. You just apologize a lot. They're like, that was such a nice girl. <laughs> As I run off with my ice cream. Well, what about the inadequate inventory? You go for one thing. And they don't have that oh, one that's thing. That's the worst, for and sure. And then you're like, well, do I go to another store? Do I just give up hope entirely? Terrible. You know, the worst food to buy stresses me out. Avocados. Av avocados. <gasps> I don't buy them anymore. I simply have just cut it out of my diet. It makes, I can't. Like, I'll I'm buy just, a pre-made guac. I will not buy a raw avocado. It is so, it's the most terrible situation that you're in. Because number one, you go and buy them for the guac that you're trying to make homemade. Yeah, and they're hard hero. as a rock. And so you're like putting it in your paper bag, like trying to do all the tricks to get it soft. Then, no, it doesn't happen for doesn't the night happen. that you have to cook. So then you think, well, I'll use it on my eggs for extra protein. You know, it's a good fat. It's actually yep. a very healthy food. And then you forget about it. And then you look up 15 days later and there's that little yeah, lonely avocado. Just all shriveled up and you think, Dad, come you were three dollars. You know, like they're so expensive. And once you open an avocado, it's like Dunzo. it's a ticking time. Don't bomb. even try to saran wrap that and yeah. put it in the refrigerator. Well, squeeze some lime. No, that not guac happening. is gonna go bad. Not happening. You have one chance at guac and then it's over. And then you're done. <laughs> and you've wasted so much time. I'm glad we feel the same way. I don't like it. Okay, can I, I tell like you it. I love a wholesale club, but Costco has been getting on my nerves. Okay, can we talk about this? I don't know who they've hired for security know. these days. They are. It's intense. They're, it's so stressful. It is so stressful. They're like, they need your ID. All the time it's like you're at TSA pre-check. Yeah, it's like, you know, like do the random screening at TSA. That's what they do at Costco now. That's what it feels They're like. They're just like, uh, sir, are you supposed to be in here? I'm like, I'm just shopping. Like, can I actually see your card? Mm, your face doesn't look the same. I'm like, I've, I've gained some weight. I'm a dad now. <laughs> I'm you know? a father now. And you can't even go to the self-checkout without having to wait in a separate line to be like, I actually... I am. I'm a member. This is who I am. I know. That's very stressful. Can I tell you, though? Sam's Club. I went on Saturday. It was amazing. No one checked my ID at the door. Wait, call, wait Kirkland no one, King. Hold on. Did you yes. cheat? I've been a member of both, to be fair. Wow. I All just right. like making fun of the Kirkland brand because it's a whole vibe. Yeah. But Sam's Club... They have checkout on my phone. I scanned the item. No. And I literally swiped to pay and I walked Am out. Am I being converted right now? Rachel, Are you seeing this I happen did not go in any line. <gasps> I didn't have to go to a self-checkout kiosk. That's I used the app. I scanned it. I went, yep, I'm done. Checkout. Pay. All right. And then it goes, all right, walk out. Just scan the barcode on your way out. And I left. Conversion may have just happened. And can I also say, Sam's Club on a Saturday, very chill. <sighs> Costco on a Tuesday think, at 7 p.m. Are we, chaos. Are we switching? I think I'm switching. I oh, think I've been converted. Wow, mom. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm telling you, you have to try it. This is happening. And can I say this? Kirk the Lee aisles King. are labeled at Sam's Club. They label the aisles. You would think it'd be easy. It's like we hate Costco. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'll still go to Costco for certain things, but I'm telling you, like, don't sleep on Sam's Club. All right. Man, you may be converting me. All right. Anyways. Um, do you love them or do you hate them? The Trader Joe's checkout cashiers. It they depends will, on my mood. You are, you're going to go into therapy. 99% of the time. You're going to end up talking about dad wounds. It's great. ASAP when you go, how's your day? It's been good. Is it? Is it good? Why is it good? I don't They're know. more I've, intentional than my children. actual friends. Do your Can children I just make say you that? happy? Did you feel like you were happy as a child? I'm like, I Sometimes, yeah, I think I was. Like, I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah. And they'll be like, they'll look at your items and be like, oh my <gasps> gosh, you are in for a treat tonight. <laughs> and I'm like, oh wow, I didn't know. They are the like, best. Those are life changing. They are the, they, uh, I, they're so affirming. It's yes. like every item you picked, like, oh my gosh, I'm so great. 
It is great. I love them. Love them. They're I do. They're wonderful. And I, I was there it. this weekend as well because I just, this is my hobby. I like to go to stores. I went by myself because I'm, you and Winston is Whitney and I. Like we do not go shopping together. Yeah. It's not going to end well. Yeah. I'm a meanderer. I just want to see what's out there. I want to look at every label. You know, I want to check the ingredients. Ooh, they have chili spice mango bites now. Let me check those, you know. Whitney, so she can't even with that. Yep, we gotta be in and out. Unbelievable. I take um, my okay, time. so one grocery store that I really do love because it is probably the cheapest. I mean, I really do think so. Is Aldi? I mean, Aldi, the deals you can get pound like for pound, it's hard to beat. It's really great, but you gotta like have the equipment before you go. You know, you gotta have oh, bags, a you quarter gotta, for a the quarter carts. for the cart. I mean, it's definitely the bare minimum experience. But I think I'm okay with that. You know. I was, you just, you just I was need like what the you Salvation need. Army Santa out there at Aldi the other day because I was like, can anyone spare a quarter for a cart? I just need to get a cart. I have a little bell. I forgot my quarters. George is like, please help me. It's help exhausting. Me here. But yeah, yeah, and then I'm carrying all these items and I'm like, crap, I'll just buy a 99 cent bag yeah. because I didn't bring my reusable bag. I know, it's just a lot. But you do get a great bargain there. It is. It's so true. It is so true. Okay. Oh, have you seen the Target cameras? This, is the, to, say, this, is, this is the last one, and it makes you feel like you just broke out of prison. Is no what I one look like. looks good. <laughs> I'm I look you. like you just handed me my clothes in a bag, and I just put them on from a cell that I've been in for years, and you look up at yourself, and you think, who am I? It's like I? they have like a, like a feral hyena filter on that yes! camera. They're just like, <laughs> Like, how is it like, so oh unflattering? It's so gross looking. It's so unflattering. It is so true. And then I wonder, am I doing something wrong, weird? Is security watching me right now? Oh, <laughs> it's just the worst. It really is the worst. I ha It just makes your self-esteem If you look good in a Target camera, you try too hard. Can I just say that? If you look good in a Target camera, you look good in your license photo, right? Like, true. it's the same people. Like, it's like you get— uh, Oh, it's so stressful. It, and, then he, and then I fix my hair when I look at oh, it. Oh, every time. Yeah, because you see yourself and you're like, oh, yeah. And then you're like, oh, and they're looking at me. Dad, yeah. gum it. Is that work? <laughs> just kind of pressure yourself I'm just going to walk in just up. smiling next time. I know. God I bless know. the security folks just being like, gosh, these people are strange. Oh, my gosh. So bad. Okay, so All let's right. talk about some life hacks when it comes to food, George, because we love food, but grocery yes. shopping specifically. So one of my favorites, are you ready for this? Hit me. Depends on the state. So let me just preference with that. Is the BOGO at Publix. Oh, I love a BOGO. So Publix, buy one, get one free is great. Again, this is depending on the state you live in. You can buy just one of the items and they cut the price in half. Because let's They're all admit, so Publix great. has higher prices than normal grocery stores. than yes. like your Kroger or Aldi. And you're paying for the experience. I mean, that's really where the money, I mean, really kind employees, big aisles, beautifully lit, labeled well. Like it's a great, it's clean, ex great, it's a selection. great experience, right? Great experience. So you are paying higher for it. Um, but the buy one, get one free, you can't beat it. You really can't. It's amazing. Just get that half off. It's awesome. And uh, here's the thing I use it for the most is sparkling waters. Like, you know, Waterloo, Spindrift, LaCroix. When they have a BOGO on sparkling water, on my crispy boys, as I call them, I will stock up. Like, you would think there is an apocalypse, and the first thing to go is going to be sparkling water. You are ready for it. And I'm stocked. My cart is filled to the brim. I probably I probably spend over 100 bucks when that BOGO sale hits. Yeah. Because it's cheaper than even Costco or like buying in bulk for it's some great, of these drinks. Yeah. But when it comes to food, George, are you more on the store brand version because it's cheaper or do you go name brand? That's a great question. I think normally a generic brand is great with me. Yeah. Depending on the, you know, like at Costco, I'm always going to get the Kirkland brand. Sam's Club, if it's a member's mark thing, I'm good with that. Um, Aldi, everything's Aldi brand. So you don't have to yeah. worry much about that for the most part. And so I really don't buy a lot of things that are name brand except for probably coffee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one thing. That's I mean, good. Trader Joe's, all Trader Joe's brand. So yeah. I'm really not big on buying name brand items except yeah. for Charmin and Starbucks cold brew. There That's you really go. It. I'm a simple man. That's fair. That's all you need. Yeah, how That's about good. you? Most of all dairy is, can you eat dairy or does that hurt your stomach? Are you, you a dairy person? Why the look? <laughs> so you I'll don't dairy. eat certain things. I try to avoid it. Uh, you know, I don't think okay. anyone's body is just like, give me more dairy, unless you're a child and it's milk, That's which Mia's about to move to cow's milk. <gasps> wow. Like, oh, are you going to do it or are you going to like put her on almond milk or something? No, I don't think you can do that legally. <laughs> child abuse. <laughs> legally. So yeah, I do most dairy. It's all like store brands. But, okay. But like things like Honey Nut Cheerios, my condiments— 
for the most part, like a ketchup or a mustard. I do go like name brands. What's your condiment brand? A uh, Heinz ketchup. Hmm. And right. is the label not good enough for you, George? No, it's fine. I just didn't know at the Cruz household if it was like, well, we only do Sir Pennington's or like, you know, whatever. The- oh, gosh. I don't even know what that means. So, okay. yeah. Okay, that's good. Well, those are yeah. those are some ways to save some money in that yeah, way. That's a simple one. Everyone's like, got it, Rachel. Shop generic. That's um, an easy one. So, I've, I haven't seen you in a tiff in a while, George. But the one time I did and you were really, really... Uh, I was in a tiff. I don't know what the word is. Hold on. Let me think. Hold on. Hold on. Perturbed? Yeah, that's a good one. You were really on your not high horse because it wasn't a high horse. I don't know. I just saw you all mixed up with emotion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> was when you told the internet that it's cheaper to eat at home and they came after yes. you, George. I mean, so it was you a got- clip from a smart conference event. I did a talk about, you know, budgeting, and I was like, listen, eating out is four times the cost of eating at home. So you're saying I'm willing to pay, you know, instead of $4, I'm willing to pay $16 for that meal out. And I, I put, we put it on social media and it got blasted with haters. I mean, the haters came out of the woodwork, George. This they guy's just- an idiot. Has he even been shopping? You can't eat at home for $4. And I'm like, it's $4 per serving, you dimwits. I'm not talking about <laughs> leaving the grocery store with a $4 receipt. <laughs> per serving. I know, but you did the research in it, and it is true. Like we, yeah. we love it. We love eating out. But we restaurants do. have a three hundred percent markup I mean, to cover overhead and their expenses and labor. Sure, and they have to make a profit to stay in business. So don't think that it's ever cheaper to eat out unless you're eating absolute trash food. You know, if you're doing like the five dollar meal deal at McDonald's, sure, you might not be able to cook that meal for five dollars at home. Right, but you're talking about like. Good quality food. Yes. Yeah, for sure. And I do think, you know, we have our go-to meals that are just cheap to make at home. Like, we love breakfast for dinner. It's like my kid's favorite thing. Like, pancakes and bacon and eggs. I think it's like the best thing ever. Um, We do a lot of Mexican. So, like, beans, rice, quesadillas, chips. Yeah. Guac, but not from real avocados. Pre-made guac. They're still real avocados, though, aren't they? Well, I mean, from like the actual avocado. It okay. was a callback to the beginning of this episode, yeah, George. Yeah, yeah. I just thought that? you have like you have a fake avocado or something. <laughs> oh no, no. You're saying it's pre-made guac. I agree. Yeah, it's, I, mean, that's I was easier. just joking. But um like that, spaghetti. Like again, there's these like meals that you can make a family of five and it yes. doesn't have to break the bank. And the thing I like to do, which is slightly nerdy, but it's a good practice to just to see, is actually divide out what this is costing for how many people are eating it. So for example, Whitney and I, we love this Costco pizza. It's like five or six bucks per pizza when you do the math and we always split it. So I know, hey, it's gonna that's $3 per person to eat. Now, some meals, if you're doing like steak or seafood, well, it could be like $10 per person sure. depending on where you buy it, how you cook it, all of that. So it's wise to just do some math, especially when it comes to price per ounce. Gosh, do you really do all that, George? I do the price per ounce. That just makes ounce. me so sad. <laughs> well, sometimes it's interesting. I'll go like, okay, like Costco has- I mean, I think you need to. You know, it's the good. wholesale club has a 32-pack of sodas and it's nine dollars. We'll divide those into each other and go. Okay, that's you know whatever sixty cents per soda. Sure, sure. But the the bogo at Publix, you can get it for thirty eight cents per can. Yeah. See, that's why you're going to retire a whole fourteen days before me. <laughs> I can't wait <laughs> with all of my sparkling waters. With all of your sparkling. But waters. that's just just for to start. No, it, it is true though, go. and especially this is true if you are on a tight budget. And you really are looking at it. I mean, seriously, when you're at that point, like doing that kind of stuff and finding, hey, what is the best deal? It is worth it because you can save so much. Like, again, the grocery store is where you can, gosh, blow the budget. You can save it. Like, you really can. So I I, I give you a hard time, George, but Thank I commend you. you. Well, I, th- I did this at Trader Joe's yesterday because I shopped for the week for the family. And I was going like, am I buying things that are actual meals or am I just buying random things that look good? Big yes. difference. Yes. Because I am that guy who will just show up at home and be like, I got a few fun drinks to try, and none of it is food that we can eat. Totally. So yesterday I was very like, okay, I've got the green beans. What am I doing with those? So one thing Good. I did that we're doing this week is fish tacos. Yeah, but that sounds delicious. So I got battered halibut. Yeah. And they have this like mango, timica, whatever slaw from Trader Joe's. Delicious. So you combine those two. Delicious. I got the corn tortillas at home. Perfect. It's going to be a great meal. Look at they you. have gluten-free pizza dough now. So we're going to do a pizza night. <gasps> nice. A la the cruise household. Love a pizza and night. so I was like, okay, you add up the cheese, add up the dough, and add in the sauce. And you're still like, okay, that's going to feed. That's two pizzas we can Much make from the dough. Much cheaper than ordering 
Pizza delivery. Exactly. Industry. So just thinking through like what are actual meals? What are all these ingredients costing to make the meal? How many people am I feeding? It's a good way to get into the habit. Then you figure out your favorites and you go, these are the go-to meals. Yep. And we know the right. cost. Yep. And you can just cycle them through. I love it. I don't know if that's helpful, but that's honest. It's good. <laughs> Honesty is what we're asking for, George. Good. So again, we said that eating out is usually more expensive, but there are still some deals when it comes to especially takeout these days. I think since COVID, they've like really up the takeout game. To try to get people into with restaurants. restaurants. Yeah, yep. but before we share that food hack, let's make sure that you're protected from a different kind of hack, which is internet identity theft. Spooky. That's right, Rachel. <laughs> Cookies are not just an item on the grocery list anymore. Internet trolls, they're out there. They're just waiting to snatch up your crumbs and hack your personal info that's floating around online, which is why it's super important these days to stay protected from these online data brokers who are putting your info out there on blast and putting you at risk. And that's why I love Delete Me. They scour the internet for you to find and remove your data from these data broker sites, and they send you a report of everything they did. And I love, every time I get my report, it's like Christmas morning. I'm like, thank you for saving me all these hours <laughs> and saving me from sketchy whiz. I mean, that's what's crazy. When they send you the report, I went through it. And the amount of information that my name was on, it's websites that you're like, I never— You don't I'm, know these sites exist. No, no, it's crazy. It is crazy. So, so it is worth it. Get your data of, like, off the internet. text messages from like random, you know, you get those spam text yes. messages. and I'm getting a lot of political ones. Oh, I get some of those too. Yeah. I like, signed man. you up for those in my defense, oh, but. Thanks, George. So appreciate JK, it. JK, but go ahead and check out Delete Me. Rachel and I love it. They'll take care of you and you can get 20% off any of their plans by going to joindeletemecom slash smart money or click the link in the show notes. So great. All right, here's some budget-friendly takeout tips if you need them, people. We got Olive Garden. It's an American classic. It's a favorite. It's a favorite. Well, there's a buy one, take one. So you can actually, if you eat a meal in the restaurant, you can take a meal home. So you get two meals for the price of one. Not bad. It's pretty great. And then also the unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks, which is obviously they the do reason How we go. How are these go. people making money? It's the reason we go. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. And you love Subway. I do love Subway. <laughs> I love a sub. Subway is so good. George What's, is too good for it, but it's I'm fine. I'm not too good. I just gluten, Rachel, you know. Yeah. So, you know, the Subway foot long, you know, if you just eat half of it for your six-inch sub, it's great. Eat the other half tomorrow, but you get a good deal on the foot long. And it's good it's with, for it. portion control. Because can I be honest? Like, obviously, I'm a little guy, and I'm not a nutrition expert, but I think we just eat too much, like American culture. I think that, it, I think that is true. The portions and stuff, like, yeah. that's a known thing. Our portions are gigantic, and I think when you can split that meal in half right off the bat yep. and share it with a spouse, save it for meal tomorrow— Ah, you know, it saves you money. It brings me to my next two. You ready for this? Okay. Cava and Chipotle. Big fans of both of those. Me too. So their bowls are huge. I did huge. one this other, the other day. Whitney okay. and I split a bowl. So great. And but if you say, well, you're both little people, these bowls are massive. They're massive. They really are. I love I love Cava and Chipotle. They're both so good. But yeah, you could get a big bowl and then you can even add more meat if you need yes. to. For protein, split it. It makes all and the And I difference. try to add all the ingredients that are free that I can. Yeah. So that helps. Yeah. If you just get like rice and beans at Chipotle and you're like, it's not enough. Well, add in all the other good stuff. Yeah. You know, get some of that. Do it. Corn and salsas and So good. Lettuce. So good. Uh, Blaze Pizza is another one. You get a custom pizza on high-rise crust or you can get the classic. Um, but you can save half of it for another meal, right? Because it's a pretty it's a pretty big and it's 15 bucks probably for a meal for a pizza. So just cut it in half. Eat one half one time, the other half, and that's two meals. It's great. Pizza is a tried and true, like it is affordable and it'll fill you up. Delicious. Love it. Love All it. All right. Should we go into groceries here? Yeah, let's do it. So we've listed out some of our grievances with grocery shopping. We gave the nice people some budget-friendly grocery store hacks, some takeout tips, but the fact remains, food still costs a lot. It and does. it's not like it used to be back in grandma's day. So what can people actually do? To affect I would say, their budget. Yeah, I would say two things. Number one, kind of look at your numbers and figure out a good grocery budget. So if you go back and look at your groceries that you spent last month or the month before, kind of average it. But remember, that was before you were doing this purposely if you haven't been budgeting. So take that number and, you know, bring it down a little bit and just say, hey, I'm going to challenge myself to spend this much in the grocery store. And then you got a meal plan, people. That's step two. You really do. You have to see, okay, what store am I going to shop at? What meals are we going to cook? What do we need? And you only buy what you need. And it really is sticking to it. And then every dollar, our budgeting app is great for this because we have a food section and I have a grocery store line and an out to eat line. 
And when that transaction comes in, especially on every dollar premium, when it's connected to your bank, drag and drop it. But you can watch it, you know, throughout, you know, day after day to say, hey, how much do we have left in this so line item? So if you're mid-month and you're almost out of money in that category, you got to go, gotta be whoa, careful. whoa, yep, what happened Got to be careful. That's really good. And we have a great article about the USDA food plans and cost of food reports. And here's the reason. People are always asking us, Rachel, well, what? just tell me how much to spend on food. I'm like, I can't do that for you. I don't yeah. know your life, your family needs, like restrictions, allergies, where you live, where you shop. All of that affects this. But this article that we'll put in the show notes, it's, the USDA has some, you know, different plans. So let's say you're single, you're a couple, you're a family of four. You want the thrifty option, the low-cost option, the moderate option, the liberal option if you want to go, you know, hog wild. And that'll give <laughs> you crazy. at least some ranges of like what to aim at. Mm-hmm. No, that's good. So yeah, you guys, I mean, grocery shopping, food, costs, it is. It's, it's risen. We have all felt it. But again, I think being intentional in this area, it is so helpful and it does make you feel more in control. Because when you go and check out, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, is this too much? Is this okay? But when you've done your research, you have a plan that works for you and your family. You're intentional. You know the meals that you're going to be cooking. I think it's great. I think that's, that, really that's, the, way, that's the way that's the way to do it. And here's an interesting stat. As of late 2023, the thrifty couple grocery plan on that USDA chart was $596 per month, while the liberal family of four plan was almost $1,600. So you can see the range depending on the family size and how, you know, loosey-goosey you are. But listen, if you're in debt and you've got financial priorities— you might need to live that thrifty life for a while. And once you're out of debt and you have an emergency fund and you're investing, maybe you lean towards that liberal side and go, we're going to be a I'm little enjoy it. Here. Yeah. We say live like no one else. So later you can live and give like no one else. That and that includes, includes the grocery store. Can I tell you another little hack I use at Trader Joe's? Sure. I get the tiny little buggy cart, like the handheld. And I will fill that up knowing it's going to be hard to breach $100 if I fill this thing up. <laughs> Talk about discipline, Rachel. Do you get the ch- you get the child's little cart? No, no, no. The handheld. What are those called? The basket. I oh, grabbed the basket. Okay. I thought. Oh I no. I do not. Although, oh, no. to be fair, it would look like a normal cart if I was pushing oh, the kids' cart. Oh, George. That's funny. But that's a hack I use to discipline myself because the bigger the cart, the more room you got to throw that's stuff fair. in there. I love it. And so I'm like just manhandling this basket. It's 48 pounds, and I bring it to the register. And I know as they scan, I'm like. It's probably going to be 100 bucks. And I'm almost always right. So good. But you, hey, you stayed in that budget, George. That's right. Which we believe that you can do that as well, you, you guys. So, so again, we know it's expensive, but plan accordingly. You guys, you got this. Go to everydollar.com slash smart money and you can check it out there. And that'll be a great way for you to just go, I'm going to make a plan for this instead of just willy-nilly hope for the best. That's right. I love it. So George, I mean, this is a topic that is really, it's a, it's a heavy one for people because again, food is essential. And people really do try hard, right? They they really do. I think that there is such effort in, hey, where can we save money? Where can we pinch our pennies? Because they're feeling that paycheck to paycheck living. So uh, it is difficult, you guys. But again, hopefully some of this helps you, some of the, just the knowledge, but also some of the the tips and the tricks when it comes to grocery shopping and just, and being wise. Because I do think too, the stats on like wasted food and that kind of thing. I mean, like there's things that are real. So I think it's looking at your habits looking at your money, but knowing like it's gone up 25% since 2020 and we don't have control of that, but we do have control over what we do and how we spend our money. Um, And you guys can do it. You can do this. I hate that food like groceries has now become like a splurge to just go to the grocery store and get food for your family. That stinks. But even if you try a few of these things, just see what affects your budget and see where it really makes a dent and then stick with it. And as you follow the baby steps that we teach and get out of debt, get the emergency fund, things will loosen up. Your income's going to go up over time. So just know that this might be a season that you're in right now. This is not a forever thing. That's right. That's right. So good. All right, George, it's almost the end of the episode and we close out every episode with Guilty Guilty as as charged. Charged. And this is where our producer, Lindsay, gives us a new Guilty as Charged question every week. And if we're guilty, we take a sip. Lindsay? Okay, I'm going a little rogue. (gasps) Uh Uh-oh. So nervous. But... When you guys were listing your pet peeves for, like, people shopping or whatever, are you guilty of doing that as well? Oh. So, like, the cart thing or blocking people or any of it. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I try to pride myself on my, like, spatial awareness, you know? (laughs) Because I'm so bothered that I'm like, I never want to be that person. But 100%. I mean, I have to ask everyone around me to tell me how annoying I am. Oh, my God. 
bitch. You know? <laughs> Mine would be like a self checkout situation. I would be the one that like can't find the barcode or like don't know how to weigh the thing. Like, I pro I would be the one that's like, I need I need help over here, please. Like, you know, that would be me. So that would be that. I would be that person. I would be the self checkout guilt. I don't think I'm big enough to be in the way. You know what I mean? If I'm like, if I'm looking at an object, I don't think anyone's like, I can't get around this guy. You know? I can't see because of his height. Oh, wait. Hey. <laughs> you know what? The other day, someone asked me if I could reach something on the shelf. And oh. I couldn't, but I think the fact <laughs> that they asked was very nice. You know what I did? I climbed into the freezer, you know, like I stepped into it. At the grocery I was, store? And I grabbed it, yes. Wow. Because I'm resourceful. What a hero, you know? Yeah. Not all heroes wear capes, George. Well done. Well done. Saving the to day. Be, you know, it's a fun one, too. Do you ever get stopped in the grocery store, but you're like in the zone and it catches you off guard? I'm sorry? Like someone's like, oh my gosh, are you Rachel? Oh, 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 when oh. When you're out and about. Uh, are you ever rude to someone? And I'm in the zone. No, the only time I feel myself be like, oh my God, thank you so much. I gotta go, I gotta go. It's if my kids are with me because it's like a ticking time bomb. I'm like, oh my gosh, where are they? Got to keep eyes on them. But if it's just me, I think all of a sudden I'd be like, Whoa. hey, uh, oh my Gosh, Are really? you like making eye contact with everyone I'm just in so case not. they look up at you? God, no, no, no. Mm. Wait, what? Okay. If I looked up and someone was just like, this um, happened at a at a wholesale club. I literally just had my car, and this lady just is walking by me. Didn't stop. She just went paying cash for that, and I went, you know it. And then we just went our oh. separate ways. <laughs> so good. You know, we were in the airport, and someone did that. We were waiting at baggage claim, and I had the kids over in the corner when someone's getting the bags, and she just has her suitcase. She walks past me, she goes, oh, paid off my car. And I said, you go, girl. And she just, How fun is she that? She just left. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. So if you ever see Rachel in public, feel free to say hey. She it's loves insane it. Same to George. I know. And if you see me, ask me to get something off the shelf. <laughs> just, and boost. It boost did happen at so Sam's easy. Club this weekend. This lady, she made direct eye contact with me and was like, hey, are you returning that? And I was like, oh, yeah. Like, I thought she knew me. Oh, my gosh. Turns out she was just like, yeah, I wanted to buy that. What do you think? <laughs> it was a lounge chair, in case you're wondering. Wow. Wow. Swapping it for a different color. I went from navy to stone. Okay. <laughs> and you know what? Shout out to Sam's Club, Rachel. She didn't even do anything. She said, just give me the old chair. <gasps> All right, you're good. Just head on out. No receipt to scan. What is no this transaction. Landed the free. She was just that like, just go. Out just on. be gone. It was amazing. Unbelievable. So, wow. Shout out to them. Not the question you asked, but it's the answer we wanted. <laughs> so good. Well, who's almost done with their drink? Wow. I'm closer. You, yeah, you are. I just wasn't as parched as I usually am. Yeah, you loved it, George. What's your rating on the sparkling rosemary peach I'm going mocktail? 9 out of 10. <whistles> High praise from Rachel. It is really, really good. It is a little sour. I love that. So that's, the, oh yeah, you do love sour drinks. I'm going 10 out of 10. Whoa! I don't think this drink could be improved oh. on. I don't think you could say a bad word about it to its face. Wow. Ooh. No notes. The drink is $2.19 per glass. So a little pricey for our mocktails. Yeah, for sure. But I think it's worth it if, you, if okay, you're so trying how do you to do it? impress. It's got rosemary simple syrup. So you just kind of leave the rosemary in there. And it kind of steeps with the simple syrup. And you just do like sugar water. Yep. And then, there you go, that simple syrup. Easy. Easy. Fresh peach, so you can muddle some peach mm -hmm. in there to get that nice okay. peach flavor. You can also garnish it with a little slice of peach to be cute. Beautiful. And then it's got fresh lemon juice and club soda. So it's got a little fizz, a little sour, a little sweet, and the rosemary with the peach. It's magical. I hope everyone makes this at home. The recipe is in the show notes. So delicious. I can't believe this show is free. Wow. <laughs> Just the people just need to start give. paying for this content. Just what we give. The free drink recipes. I know so much. The content, it's great. Thanks we need, for we need a cocktail recipe book, is what we need. Comment below if you think it should happen. Let us know. Cause that we can we should make that happen. We need, I think, at least a hundred people to say yes in the oh, comments. Okay. And then we can proof of concept. Then we'll take it to Dave. And we'll say Dave Ramsey, what do you think? A hundred people like our idea. <laughs> I wish that's it's gonna how it It's going to be a bestseller. It's going to be a bestseller. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Well, it's closing time. So thank you guys so much for always listening and watching these episodes. We do appreciate you. Spread the word. Send these episodes to your friends, to your family. Leave comments. Leave reviews. Subscribe. Show us the love. And can you let us know your best grocery hack in the comments? Oh, that's good, too. We'll learn from you. Yes. People are very creative. Love very it. creative. Well, you guys, we'll see you next Thursday on an all-new episode of... 
Smart Money Happy Hour. 